probably the best part of our day. We get up, we usually have a coffee, relax around the pool a bit. Daryl likes to um, sit by the pool and check his emails in the mornings. Um, and then uh, we're off to the beach with our dogs. Um, just the word beach and the dogs are going crazy, so... Uh, They're into the golf cart and away we go. So down to the beach we get and you know, generally there's um, people on the beach that we have a social hour with catch up on a few things that have happened in the last couple of days and uh, or we uh, might see some paddle boarders uh, going out um, which, all, which all, is always a fun thing. There's one fellow that's down there uh, which he does some classes and some lessons and he's got a little dog that's on the board which is kind of a fun thing to see every day. So, uh, um, And then we may even stop at the El Valero and have some breakfast. Um, depending on the morning, how rushed we are, so uh, quite often we'll stop and have a breakfast there and uh, then head back uh, to the house and get ready to start our day. If I listen, but don't hear. three things you'll love Costa Rica um, and also the weather I mean this is uh, the last pair of shoes I will ever wear in my life I came on a vacation loved it went home and sold everything and came back and have not looked back since <laughs> this place is amazing I can't afford to go back to the United States and live I like being able to play golf 363 days out of the year. I made more friends here my first two months than I did in 20 years in Vancouver, Canada. After 30 years in law enforcement, I decided I needed some time out here, and this has been a great time out place. And we never used our return ticket, so we let it expire, like boom, we stayed, we never left. My health has improved radically since I've been here. I feel like I've, you know, come home. It just felt like home. As soon as we got here and landed, it felt like home. It's something that you have to dream about. You have to come to see it and experience it. It's not something you can explain to people. They have to come and experience it themselves. Because it's just not something that words don't give it enough. Words and photos don't give it enough credit. 